In April of 2019, Joanne and I set out to do our version of the Baja Divide Cape Loop section. Morning of day one, Baja Divide Cape Loop my way. Here comes Joanne. This is the portion where our route is different from the uh, published route because we're leaving from La Ventana and riding out to the coast road, not La Paz as the published route does. T.O.C. T.O.C. Means Top of climb It's the climb for the day
you know, we have not seen that car. We've only seen one human being. He was riding a motorcycle on pavement, and uh, we have not ridden any pavement. We're just crossing. No. The riding is uh, challenging. It's up and down right here. But we're about to get into that plane right there where it's all going to be flat and sandy for miles. Having fun? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. toughest uh, part of the Cape Loop section, uh, in my opinion, and I think Joanne would agree. This climb is so steep right here. It goes about 800 feet in about half a mile. And by the time we got to the top of it, we uh, said we're done and we picked a camping spot. Which turned out to be nice, except for in the middle of the night, there was some noises in the dark. It turned out to be a herd of cattle and we were in their meeting place. <laughs> kind of fun. Baja Divide, our way, morning three, and we are camped out on a mountaintop, not the one we planned on, but it's a mountaintop, it's right there. Our camp spot is right, uh, right there. I'll show you that in a minute. What do I want to show you? This road that we're on is crazy. There's like 30% grades, lots of pushing a bike, but anyway. You look down one side of the road, it goes damn near straight down to an arroyo. The arroyo winds, winds through the mountains. You come over to the other side, 
and it's the same thing. So we are on top of this freaking ridge. This road just goes along the top of this ridge and it goes down and crosses the arroyo. And we had to climb up, you see that arroyo? See that arroyo down there? We climbed up to this elevation in about a quarter of a mile. And I don't know, it's probably about 800, 1,000, no, 800 feet up from the arroyo. And there's Joanne, looking beautiful with her midge net on. And the sun's gonna be coming up in a minute. walk over to the other side of this. We're camped on top of the knoll. A flat, clear space. All we had to do was move a bunch of cow patties. And this one might give you a better sense of what I'm talking about getting on top of this crazy freaking ridge. So, road, mountains, Look at that. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but it's just crazy. Spectacularly beautiful. And of course, there's nobody here. There's nothing but cows here. The entire time we've been on this road, we saw one ranch building. And, and this is the other side. The same thing. It's like uh, almost, almost straight down to that arroyo. And over there, I can't really see it now, but you can see the top of it. There's a right there in the center of the picture is a road. Came down that, crossed that arroyo down there, and then up this. Just crazy steep. Anyway, that's where we're at. We're gonna pack up and push on. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna make this whole thing. Giant's already pretty tired of it. But uh, I'm sure it's beautiful out here. Joanne's there. She stopped. She's leading right to me. There's Joanne. She's uh, getting back on the bike. We're on the top of this mountain. Oh, now we got a problem, huh? Now we got a Mexican standoff. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, go ahead. Or you just stay there and let her pass. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There, all gone. <laughs> Yee-hoo! Beautiful morning, isn't it? Uh, here we are getting close to San Jose del Cabo and uh, in this shot that's the airport area of San Jose del Cabo and this is the larger row you cross right before getting to the freeway and here we are downtown San Jose del Cabo we uh, put on our tourist clothes and took a bus into town because we stayed kind of out of town near the airport got a little drunk at a bar ate dinner at a great restaurant which we didn't get any pictures of but it was really good can't remember the name of it and then we Ubered back. We realized that they probably have Uber here. So they did. And we Ubered back to our hotel, which was near the airport. Good time. And the next morning, we're back on the road. Back into the mountains of the Sierra de Laguna. Wonderful, wonderful national park. Um, two days to get from San Jose del Cabo to Todos Santos for us old timers.
fire pit. Joanne, yeah. is this awesome? Look at this. Sure. We just we just drilled up. We just crossed the spine of the Baja from the east side to the west side. The Pacific. That's the Pacific Ocean down there. You can see the beach is getting foggy now and cold up here tonight. We just rolled up and here's this campsite. Got a fire pit. Got firewood. Got plenty of flash space. No cow patties. Well, a little bit. And that's our road we get to do in the morning. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Well, as great as that spot was, we uh, didn't spend the night there. It was too early in the day. There was too much daylight left. So we decided to ride on down that road. And um, we ended up at a... Uh, a nice place down in kind of the flats down there and uh, nestled in a bunch of uh, trees and bushes. It was nice, you'll see it. And that's our camp spot right off the road underneath the trees. It's very nice. This is the sunrise, sunset from our camp spot. And this is me in the morning. Personal hygiene, very important. What? Shower's done. <laughs> Day five on the way to Toto Santos.
right across the freeway from Todos Santos and here we are at the over the edge bike shop in Todos Santos and here we are having some drinks and hors d'oeuvres in Todos Santos. Uh, it's good to be there and um, here we are in front of the sign. Little Mexican dogs all over the place of course. They were at the Hotel California having more drinks. And we are in walkabout, we're in our going out clothes, town square, and back at the Hotel San Todos Santos for more drinks. And then out to dinner, Joanne just can't stay off bicycles. It's great playing tourists for a day. Actually two days, we spent two nights in Todos Santos, very nice. Then uh, on our lay day, we took a lay day in Todos Santos, did nothing but be tourists. We walked out to the uh, Mira something or other, a restaurant on the hill overlooking the ocean. Had an expensive uh, lunch and drinks. On the way there, we ran into a Mexican dude selling wooden furniture out of the back of his pickup truck on the side of the road. We really liked the furniture, but we told him we're here on bikes and we live in La Ventana. He says, well, I'll be in La Ventana in a week from now. I'll see you there. And I said, yeah, never gave it another thought. Figured we'd never see him again. Well, stay tuned. taking a work call while in Todos Santos. Work, work, work. That's all I ever do. And the time has come to leave Todos Santos, so off we go. Back into the Sierra de Laguna Mountains. Yahoo! Love that place. Seven. Gotta go over that mountain range back to the east side of the Baja. Beautiful day. Seven.
Yay, my turn. I love this picture in the next one. It's Joanne looking at the road ahead saying, what the frick? So from here on, this is uh, again my route, not the official Baja Divide route. This goes back to uh, through El Triomfo, old French mining town, and back to La Ventana. But it's my own route that I made looking at Google Earth. And uh, it's, I think a little harder than the divide route, which I've done the divide route, so I know. But uh, here we are pulling into El Triomfo where we uh, stopped at the El Triunfo General Store, got a can of garbanzo beans, and what we thought was a bottle of tequila turned out to be a bottle of brandy, but it was nice, it worked. And uh, ended up camping in the Arroyo, just east of town, which was a really nice place, those little frogs around our campsite during the night. little bushwhacking involved, some steep rocky climbs, and some steep rocky descents, and then it opened up into big flat white graded roads. And uh, off we go. getting a bite to eat about that this place about three miles from our house and this is before we had Dory our dog but we believe this is Dory's uncle or a cousin or something because this dog is about a mile from where Dory was found in the dump and uh, they sure look like later in life they met and there's our hometown Laventana and uh, all downhill from here Then uh, remember the guy that was selling the wooden furniture in Todos Santos? We are having cocktails on the roof to celebrate our finishing the ride. And we looked down, and a block away, there he is. So we walked down there, drinks in hand, bought the furniture, he delivered it to the house, and we sat in it that night. Really cool. And we ended up going out to dinner at a local restaurant, just a five minute walk from the house. And that was it. The biggest ride of Joanne's life and the best eight days of my life. I really enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my other videos, hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thanks.